We spent 48 hours in Buffalo, New York, and this is what happened. I'm not hungry, but let's eat. We challenged ourselves to eat all the iconic food that the Buffalonians recommend, such as beef on weck, spaghetti parm, sponge candy, gym steakout, mighty taco, and of course, the buffalo wing, and a bunch of other stuff too. So by the time you are finished watching this video, you will be an expert on the iconic food in Buffalo, New York. Our first stop is Doc Sullivan's, where not only did we try some of the tastiest wings, what is in the sauce? It's so good. But also the best house made blue cheese we've ever had. It's a good wing. And luckily, Julia was able to candidly film some other people's food. It's okay, I do this, right? Yeah. We were super hungry, so Julie ordered a chopped cheese burger. Oh, that's definitely a chopped cheese. Yeah. Which is a spin-off of a New York City bodega sandwich where you take frozen burger patties and chop them up on a grill, layer cheese on top and serve it in a hoagie with lettuce, tomato, a landing strip of ketchup, and mayo. We did an entire video eating all of the chopped cheese in New York City and even created our own version at home that you can recreate as well. Doc Sullivan's was a great recommendation. Make this a place you definitely visit. Unfortunately, we have 19 more meals we're about to eat. So let's just say we did not pace ourselves properly for the next 48 hours to come. That guy at the bar is looking at me. Rise and shine, it's tomorrow morning and we got some eating to do. But first, we gotta look the part. It's literally the first thing you see. If you want to immediately get street cred and respect in Buffalo, it is imperative to dress the part. We're going to sneak in as many Bills things as we can in this video. Look at him, the Bills game is behind him. So do not take a shot every time you see a Bills logo, but if you can guess how many are in this video, you will win a secret prize. Now that we checked off socially acceptable, we are ready to head to East Aurora, where the most highly acclaimed restaurant is located, Bar Bill Tavern. Here, you will find the locals favorite chicken wings with a wide variety of sauces, hand brushed one at a time. Much like Doc Sullivan's, their house made blue cheese is incredible. Barbell's also backed by the Buffalo Bills star quarterback, Josh Allen, who loves their hot garlic and honey butter barbecue, which we had to try. It's not hot at all, it has a totally different flavor. It actually makes me feel like I'm having barbecue chicken. Ah, thank you. I'm gonna need some water, so I'm gonna uh, milk. No, no, no. No, you don't want to breathe either. Breathing, breathing makes it worse. But the other big star of Bar Bill is their famous beef on wax sandwich. It's devourable. Beef on wax is a sandwich found primarily in Western New York State, particularly in the city of Buffalo. It is made with roast beef on a cummel wax roll. What's it called? Cummel. Spell it. See you. Okay. A kumbalwek roll, a roll that is topped with kosher salt and caraway seeds. That's the problem with this, it's, it's too good. The meat on the sandwich is traditionally served rare, which you'll love, with the top bun getting a dip in an au jus and spread with horseradish. How could you not like this sandwich? It's horrible for you. And that, folks, is the beef on wax. I love how there's a guy staining wood topless in a garage next to Schwabels. <laughs> Earlier, we were at Barbell Tavern and we learned a lot about beef on whack. First of all, you need to smother the living crap out of it with horseradish until like a big old wasabi just pop, pops you in the throat. You have to stroke the horns of a buffalo and then eat a lot of meat. So we made it to Schwabels, Schwabels, Schwabels. Schwabels or Schwabels? Schwabels. I was right, I get a hundred bucks. Like Charles Schwabble. This place is known to have the best beef on weck in all of Buffalo. Dude, do you even have a sign for it? This sign was made in 2022 when you're watching this. But it's talking about historical data. It's 
settled on Broadway in Buffalo in 1837, and that's where we are right now. Once here, people discovered that we also serve homemade German potato salad. The restaurant is a friendly, familiar place for those who would like to step back in time and enjoy Western New York's regional fare of roast beef on Kummelweck and fish fries served every day. Actually, I heard fish fries were actually incredible yeah, they're here. Really, Maybe um, we should order a fish fry here should. right now. I Let's do one. that. Let's see what this looks like. I can see the layer where they dipped it in the au jus. You see that? It's so different than the last one we tried too. The bun is different. Like this one definitely has more salt, caraway seeds on there. It's a different experience. I want you to try. It's delicious. I'll tell you right now, the meat is completely different. <laughs> meat and kamawek. My favorite thing on this planet is potato salad. And this looks so freaking good. Oh. Mm. It's delightful. You're not a big potato salad person, right? It tastes like a baked potato. This just tastes like beets. This is a big plate. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah, that's delicious. I love a fish fry. I'll show you how a true Bill Gray's Rochesterian eats a fish fry. Bill Gray's guy? One of the things that she did right, the lemon squeeze on top, which you gotta do. But the part that you did wrong is, you need to paint on the, uh... What? The tartar. See how I did that? Um, we're at the oldest restaurant in possibly the United States of America, and you're gonna eat with your hands. Oh, oh perfect. The restaurant I used to work at, Bill Gray's, also is famous for their fish fry. As you can see from the pictures, they're very similar in style. These haddock fish fillets were brought in fresh every Friday in these big fish tubs, and each piece of fish was hand breaded in a panko style breadcrumbs, and then we deep fried it to perfection. Here's a coupon. That's a, that's a gold standard. That's really good. Mm -hmm. I think it's kind of better than your restaurant you were worked at. Sorry. So great. <laughs> but for real though it is. But this tartar sauce is really delicious. Go Bills. <laughs> Go Bills. Come meet Beefy. That's the most confusing hashtag I've ever seen on social media. They have quotations and a dash. I don't know if Twitter accepts that as a hashtag, folks. So immediately after Schwabels, we drove past an ice cream parlor. Do you guys have sponge candy? We normally do, um, not for the season yet. There's much we still need to learn about this multi-airy chocolatey treat. Oh man, so I don't get to try sponge candy? When my sis used to go to UB, University at Buffalo, my late night foodie spot would be Jim's Steakout. But this was over a decade ago, and I guess the locals don't stake out gyms so much anymore. The Frenchie, it was really greasy. But I was in Buffalo, so I had to revisit that reminiscent flavor of a decent steak sandwich. What? <laughs> you would lick some guy's shoes? No, not me! So mid-edit, my sister asked me if I got my shoes licked at Jim's Steakout. Apparently, this is a real thing that happened to people who went to the location on Allen and Elmwood. He would come into Jim's Steakout. And do like, what? Lick shoes? Lick people's shoes. This guy walking beside me says, excuse me, sir, but may I see your shoes? And licks my left shoe. Then he gets up, says, sorry, it looked dirty to me, then runs off. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. Did you get your shoe licked? <laughs> I did not. Thankfully, we went to the location on Seneca Street during the day, and Reddit has already informed the public that he was arrested in Florida. Look at this. This isn't the vibe of Jim's Steakout. Uh, no offense to the art. I think art's amazing, but I'm just saying in context to what you're getting here. And I, I would love the artwork, by the way, in the walls. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's cool. Cool stuff. Everything gets so 2022. You seem very judgmental right now. A little bit. I'm gonna do the Jim's Famous Steak Hoagie. Certified Angus steak. Angus being a breed of cattle, chopped on the grill, topped with fried onions, melted cheese, lettuce, tomato, and Jim's secret sauce. Is that like the most popular thing? Yeah. It had a hamburger helper vibe to it. 
the perfect late night drunk food. It's different than Philly cheesesteak though. Yeah, it's like cheeseburger meat. This is junk food, guys. If I were to leave here and not get something, what would you recommend? And that was the Stinger Hoagie. The chicken tender subs, I guess, are the thing around here. Which is certified Angus steak and tenderloin chicken fingers chopped on the grill. Topped with fried onions, melted cheese, lettuce, tomato, Frank's Red Hot, and Jim's Secret Sauce. That's pretty good. The locals probably go at like 2 a.m., so the service and quality probably suffer, hence why they're falling off. Wow, that's, that's layers. Don't eat this if you're on a diet. The buffalo sauce and the texture from the chicken definitely elevate the sandwich. <laughs> there are 10 gym stakeout locations, so make sure to hit one of these up when you're in town. No more shoe lickers. I don't know about you, but I'm getting sick of beef and chicken and eating food. We gotta switch things up. What other junk food are we missing in this video? Comment below.